everyone, this is Jack. In this video, I'm going to cover five ways to make a really low cost greenhouse to protect your plants in winter. So let's get started. Number one, the dome. Simply put a wire cage on a container and then cover the wire cage using a clear garbage bag all the way down to the container. Use a string to tie the garbage bag to the container so that it doesn't fly away. This will protect your potted plants from cold and frost. This greenhouse hack locks in moisture and allows sunlight to penetrate to the plants. Cost just $2 for the cage. Number two, plastic container. I'm using this free plastic container that you get when you buy spinach or salad greens. Simply place this container on your small plants and this will help protect plants from frost. This container is very easy to use on multiple small plants or just one single desired plant. This container lets in a lot of light and you can even use this container to protect your plants from insects and pests. And the best part, it is free. I made a video on using this free plastic container as a humidity dome or a mini greenhouse to start seeds. Check that video out if you're interested. I'll leave a link to that video in the description. Number three, plastic tote. Buy a clear plastic tote. This one just costs about $7. Simply cover desired plants with this tote. This tote retains humidity very well and it is big enough to support the growth of bigger plants. To prevent cold air from seeping in, use soil or dead leaves to cover the sides of the tote. The tote will allow sunlight and protect plants from frost. This tote is very efficient in locking in the moisture and retaining humidity inside the tote. Number 4. Pallet A-Frame Lean two pallets against each other to create an A-Frame. To cover the frame, use a plastic tablecloth cover. Simply unfold the tablecloth cover and cover the A-frame. This is a simple solution to cover the plants from top to protect from frost. You can cover the front and back as well if desired. The plants will thrive under the protection of the A-frame. Costs just $7 if you can secure the pallets for free. Just make sure the pallets are heat treated, marked with symbol HT. Number 5. Greenhouse Box you can make a box or frame of any desired size out of wood. To make my box, I use four 30-inch pieces, four 42-inch pieces, and four 56-inch pieces. I then cut the mark pieces. Next, I drilled a pocket hole and attached the wood with screws. I created a box that is 30 inches high, 56 inches long, and 42 inches wide. You can make any desired shape using this method. This gives plants enough room to grow and it is very easy to pick up and move. The dimensions I created fit inside a 4 feet wide raised bed very easily. To cover the frame, I again used the plastic table cover. I cut the pieces to cover the front and back of the box and secured the tablecloth in place. The greenhouse box is ready. Since I'm using a lot of plastic in this video, I want to take some time to raise some awareness about plastic. I recommend avoiding plastic altogether. There are islands of garbage and plastic in the ocean all contributed by us. So I recommend using products made from renewable sources. However, there are some times that it's very hard to actually avoid using plastic, such as covers for greenhouses. So if you do buy plastic, buy with an intention of reusing plastic over and over year after year. Never throw away plastic and trash. And I've also heard that plastic added to recycle bins is not being recycled either. So the plastic tote that I have, I'll be reusing it to store my gardening supplies and I always reuse plastic covers as well. Next morning, the whole box is covered in frost. I could scrape the frost with my hand. This could have been my plants. I want to test a couple of these systems and see how effective they are. And for that, I have this Govi product, which actually records temperature and humidity. I'm going to place one inside the system and one outside and see the difference. Govi is a very handy product. One cool thing I like about this product is that you can set up alerts to notify you if the temperature goes below or above a desired range. This particular product contains two sensors that record temperature and humidity and one receiver that hooks up to the wall and connects to Wi-Fi. The sensors are moisture resistant and good to use outdoors. I'm placing one outside and one inside the plastic tote. I'll leave a link to the product in the description of the video if you're interested in purchasing one. After placing the sensor, I covered all sides of the tote with soil so that it locks in heat and humidity. 
After running the system for a day, the readings are in. The plastic tote was 21 degree Fahrenheit or 11.6 degree Celsius warmer during the day and 2 degree Fahrenheit or 1.1 degree Celsius warmer at night. There is no big difference at night because there is no sunlight or source of heat to contain in the tote. The humidity drops during the day and rises back up at night. The difference is apparent in humidity retention. The minimum humidity during the day drops to 23.4% while the minimum humidity in the plastic tote only drops to 47.4%. This is because the plastic tote is very efficient in retaining humidity during the day. The tote retained 24% more humidity during the day. Similarly, I tested the greenhouse box by placing one sensor outside and one sensor inside the greenhouse box. Greenhouse box was 11.5 degree Fahrenheit or 6.4 degree Celsius warmer during the day and 4.4 degree Fahrenheit or 2 degree Celsius warmer at night. This is a little less than plastic tote because the tote has thicker plastic to retain more heat. Greenhouse box also retained 24.3% more humidity during the day which is comparable to plastic tote. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you can utilize some of these greenhouse ideas to protect your plants from frost and even grow plants in cold and I'll see you in another video.